Hey, what's up guys? Today we are starting our playthrough of the Stanley Parable. So I said I was probably going to do a playthrough of this game, and now we are. Let's begin the game. So yeah, this is, game is kind of old. It's from 2012-2013. So it's not a new game, but it has very good scores, and I'm pretty sure like Markiplier, people like that, Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie, probably played it. I know Markiplier did because I watched it, that's where I found out about the game. End is never the end is never the end is never the end loading. Alright. So I don't know how long this load screen is, but I might skip it in the video. Okay, this is like a super long loading time. 12 hours later. 15 hours later. 2 months later. 7 years later. 14 years later. 35 years later. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through okay. a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Nice. If he was and happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his oh, years no. at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. We're getting out of our office. Cool. Look around, I guess. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Can I just not go to the meeting room? It's, where is the meeting room? Let's check the controls real quick. Uh, edit keys. Left duck, control. Mouse one. Look down, look up, okay. Okay, so. Can't do anything there. I guess we just keep going forward. What's in the box? Okay. No one in there. No one in there. No one in there. Just a bridge. Nice. When Stanley came to a Whoa. set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So he's telling me to do that one. Sure, why not? Let's follow what he says. For now. Yet there was not a single person Do not here either. Alter Feeling a wave of disbelief, manager. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let a ball up inside you. For not supporting you, take out a passive aggressive after coworkers. On other coworkers. Let's read some of this stuff. Post review. If you guys want to read any of these, just pause your, pause the video. I'm not gonna read all these. I might read all these off camera, but for now I gotta <laughs> I got a video to get going with. Everyone is unique. You most of all. Well, thank you, I guess. Number of slides on this slide. Slides, charts, slides. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so I don't know how like long this game is or how like if it has a set storyline or anything. So this might be a very interesting video. Series, at least. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Nope.
There was nothing here. No He's choice gonna... to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. He's going to no keep talking, to isn't he? Be here. No, I want to look at this stuff. Why does it have, like, a nuclear sign on it? That's not good. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom <laughs> closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep taunting him. Just, I'm just gonna stay in this room. This broom. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Yeah. Standing around doing nothing. Yeah, Why? pretty much. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. I'm okay. It's a nice light. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? Yeah. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely <laughs> no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Yeah. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when Maybe. you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The, the broom, broom closet, closet ending. ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Yep. It's not well, me, it's I've Stanley. I've come to so. a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here, when a physical melody of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Yep. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone <laughs> who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological Except vulnerabilities. I'm not dead. It's indicative no of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place <laughs> at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. So that the <laughs> irony and insightful commentary of this game I wonder how long is gonna go on lost on them. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer to see if he's anything if he says anything else. I think I'm gonna step out now. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse. Let's go back in. Uh, you too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of Indians. <laughs> Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Let's, let's wait like five seconds. One, two, three, four. Okay. See if we can go back in. No, okay. L let's continue with the story now. Let's continue with the story. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Why not? Why not? Let's go in. Okay, we can't go in the executive bathroom. Okay, the door shut behind me. Pencils. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 
2845. But of course, Stanley did incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Where was this passageway? Oh, over here. So yeah, this game, I'm pretty sure it has like multiple endings and like, depending on what you do, you get multiple things. So this is probably going to be one of those series. Might be a one episode, might be a couple episodes, I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. As time goes on, I guess we'll figure it out. Loading. Hopefully this loading isn't as long as the first one. Ten years later. Twenty years later. Thirty years later. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley like 90, realized no. he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Ah, that broke. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Hmm. So this might be a multiple episode thing if, if I want to choose the other one. I don't know. This is such a tough choice. Okay, for our first playthrough, I think... I think I'm going to follow what he says just for the first episode. Just for the first one. We might go through the other one. Just for the first one. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Real question is why does an office building have this giant of a room with all these TVs? Now the monitors jumped to life, well. their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Yeah. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Why not? Why not? Do we have to do that? Or can we just go over here? Now it's dark. Help me. It's so dark. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He 
he had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Okay. Beat the game. So that is the end of the game. But I know the whole fun of this game is that there are multiple endings. So depending on what you do, there are different endings. That's the whole point of the fun. So, yeah, I don't know if maybe one playthrough should be one episode. I probably could have taken it a bit slower, maybe. Nothing will bring All right, me. guys, we're going to do one and more playthrough in this episode. Forever, I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Okay, that was another ending, I guess. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, we'll do one more play through this episode. So let's go do that. And instead of how long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes, days, centuries. Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. But in okay. But instead of taking the micro room, we'll go through the escape room. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yep. I went through this room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, yep. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into yeah. the newly opened passageway. Is that blood? Or is it just the shadow? Oh, it's just the shadow. I thought that was blood. I'm like, ugh. 
Someone did something scary here. But yeah, we're going to take the exact same route other than going to the mind control. We're going to go to the escape path. And that's going to be our episode for today. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read no. Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. We're still gonna keep going. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yep. Let's go. Let's see if we die. If we don't die, that means the dude that's been talking to us is a complete liar and we shouldn't believe anything that he says. He's a liar. We didn't die yet. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, I think we still might die. That his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. There was Stanley. I, 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 you can't jump. Farewell, That's what I was trying to Stanley, do. Farewell, Stanley, cried huh? the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body. Killing him instantly. Just kidding. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, Death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Oh, cellar stuff. Okay, wait, so that's the two doors. This is the corridor. Okay, okay, I can't, I can't really, re, like, visualize all that just yet. Button sounds. Okay. Credits. These are all the people that made this game. Guess we'll walk this way. Let's walk over here, I guess. What is over here? The game is now paused. Wait, what is this? So I can't do anything with those? Cool. So bright. Okay. So what do we actually do? I'm guessing go over here. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Okay. Can you see? 
Can you see how much they need one another? No. For this game, not. yeah? Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose yeah, I'm it. Good. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time And we're dead. Right? Okay. <laughs> Think we're dead? I don't know. Are we dead? Game, tell me. Please help me. Oh. Oh, I guess that was it. We're just kind of dead, so we just have to restart the game. Okay. <laughs> cool. Alright, let's wait until the loading screen and see what happens. Alright, I guess that's pretty much it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to continue this. We're going to probably just take different paths every episode. I don't know how many episodes it's going to be, but it's probably going to be one or two more. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as opposed to the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.